Have you ever wondered about the largest living lizard on Earth? Let's delve into the world of the mighty Komodo dragon. Varanus komodoensis, more commonly known as the Komodo dragon, is a creature of remarkable size and power. These colossal reptiles reside on the Indonesian islands, a rugged and tropical terrain that they've called home for millions of years. Their evolutionary journey has made them a symbol of survival and adaptation. From the time of the dinosaurs, they have evolved, outliving many other species of their era. Today they stand as the largest living species of lizard, a testament to their resilience and adaptability. Komodo dragons are not just fascinating due to their size, but also due to their unique set of skills. These creatures are powerful, perilous, and have an air of ancient mystery about them. These ancient reptiles have roamed the islands for millions of years, growing to impressive sizes and developing a set of skills that make them both powerful and perilous. Komodo dragons are true giants, with some individuals reaching lengths of over 10 feet and weighing up to 200 pounds. Now imagine a lizard that size moving with agility, its muscular body rippling with power. That's the Komodo dragon for you. Their size is impressive, yes, but it's their physical attributes that truly set them apart. Take their claws, for instance, sharp as razors and perfect for ripping into their prey or climbing trees. Then, there's their tail, as long as their body, and incredibly powerful. It's used in combat, for balance while running, and even as a propeller when they swim. But it's not just about brute strength. These reptiles are surprisingly agile, capable of swift bursts of speed when hunting. They can even stand on their hind legs, using their tail as a support, to reach for food, or to survey their surroundings. These attributes contribute to their status as dominant predators in their ecosystem. Komodo dragons are not just large, they are skilled hunters with a unique approach to securing their prey. These formidable creatures have evolved a highly strategic hunting style that relies on both their strong senses and their patient nature. With an acute sense of smell, they are capable of detecting carrion from miles away, drawn to the scent like a magnet. This sensory prowess allows them to locate food efficiently, even in the dense undergrowth of their island habitats. But don't be fooled into thinking these giants are just scavengers. Komodo dragons are also masters of ambush. They use their natural coloring to blend seamlessly into their surroundings, lying in wait for an unsuspecting meal to wander by. They remain perfectly still, camouflaged and silent, until the opportune moment strikes. And then, with a burst of speed that belies their size, they launch their attack. Patiently waiting for unsuspecting prey to come within striking distance, they are stealthy strategic hunters. Now let's talk about one of the most dangerous aspects of the Komodo dragon, their venomous bite. While these massive lizards are indeed physically formidable, it's their deadly saliva that truly sets them apart. You see, Komodo dragons have specialized venom glands located in their lower jaws. When they bite, these glands deliver a lethal cocktail that's a mix of venom and a host of harmful bacteria. This venom isn't merely for subduing prey, it's a complex substance that causes rapid blood loss, shock, and can even prevent clotting. The bacteria, on the other hand, can result in severe infections, further debilitating the bitten prey. And if the initial bite doesn't bring down their target, the dragons can patiently follow it for days until the venom and bacteria take effect. So, contrary to popular belief, it's not the size or strength that makes them deadly, it's their venom. The feeding habits of Komodo dragons are both fascinating and chilling. When they make a kill, it's not a solitary affair. Imagine, if you will, a group of these colossal lizards, each up to 10 feet long, descending upon a single meal. This is no calm, orderly picnic. It's a feeding frenzy, a whirlwind of scales, teeth, and raw power. Komodo dragons are not picky eaters. They will consume almost everything of their prey, including bones, hooves, and hide. Their strong jaws and flexible skulls allow them to devour their food in large chunks, making short work of even the most substantial meals. But it's not just about the food. This feeding frenzy is also a social event. In the world of Komodo dragons, there's a pecking order with the largest and most dominant individuals eating first. These gatherings can become battlegrounds as dragons jostle for position, asserting their dominance in a bid for the best parts of the meal. The strong social hierarchy and dominance battles make these interactions both intense and dangerous. As formidable as they are, Komodo dragons face threats, primarily from habitat loss and human activities. Known to be resilient and adaptive, 
These creatures are now grappling with the implications of a rapidly changing world. They are currently classified as vulnerable on the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List, an indication that their population is decreasing and their habitats are under threat. The primary threats to their survival are habitat loss and fragmentation, largely due to human activities such as deforestation for agriculture and settlement. Poaching is another significant concern, as Komodo dragons are targeted for their skin and eggs. Additionally they face the threat of natural disasters, particularly volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, which are common in their Indonesian home. Yet, it's not all doom and gloom for the Komodo dragons. There are concerted efforts underway to protect and conserve these magnificent creatures. Komodo National Park, spanning the islands of Komodo, Rinka and Padar, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a Man and Biosphere Reserve. It provides a protected habitat for an estimated 2,000 Komodo dragons. Various conservation organizations are working tirelessly to ensure the survival of the Komodo dragon. These groups focus on habitat restoration, anti-poaching measures, and community education to foster coexistence between humans and dragons. There are also captive breeding programs in zoos around the world, which not only serve to protect the dragons but also to educate the public about their plight. Challenges still remain, but the fight for the Komodo dragon survival is far from over. Conservationists, researchers, and local communities are joining forces to ensure that these ancient reptiles continue to reign in their island homes, serving as a reminder of the intricate balance of nature. Understanding these creatures is crucial to their survival and the balance of the ecosystems they inhabit. Join us next time as we continue to explore the fascinating world of nature's most intriguing creatures.